Yeah, we killed a couple of us yesterday, so um, I did a... Um, I did quite a bit of learning yesterday on how they telegraph and how they do things. Uh, I still want to do that on the next couple of bosses. Is to uh, make sure we're fully clear in what's going on. Can we gain a level? Maybe. We can. Uh, more DPS. Always. Large Marge. Yeah, she's <laughs> made like not the prettiest of characters. She's a beast though. She gets stuff done. She gets, she puts in work. There was this item here that we couldn't pick up, but it's an early game item, so I think we're fine. I've been dying to get back into a Souls game. That's why I was looking for or a Souls-like. Uh, that's why I was really excited for... Oh, this guy respawns. Oh, no shit. Oh, this guy's kind of a fucking animal. If he hits me once with his head, we're dead. Greed. No, no, Mike. Mike. No. Ooh. Yes, we got Elden Ring. I know. I know. I know. Elden Ring is going to be like a hundred hour playthrough. It's probably going to be after Baldur's Gate, right? Let's be realistic. Elden Ring is going to be huge. Absolutely enormous. Bye. Good for you. We just got to this area yesterday. Uh, oh, I had to do... Okay, how do I do this with the lantern again? Right, I have to go into the spirit world. That was right. Go into the spirit world. It allows us to manipulate stuff. Files Gate 3 is our big December game. I'm super excited for it. Does not mean December 1st. Oh, shit! Bro, are you trolling? Oh! Oh, that's perfect. Thanks, guy. <laughs> appreciate you. Appreciate you, dude. Really do appreciate you. You're a good you're a good guy. Uh oh I'm locked on something. Okay. Yeah, I'm locked onto the wrong thing. Can I plunge onto that? The other one. It's hard to get used to Oh god, I can't jump off. Uh, oh, I did not want to be on here. I did not want to be on that. I think there's like three of these idiots now charging at me. Do we have to go that way? I don't think so. Maybe. Uh, I think we should go back to the real world. Let's do that. It didn't help. They're still here. Okay. Maybe there's a ladder on that tower or something? One down. Alright, definitely. Okay, I think we have to go in there and jump over to there. Okay, okay, okay. The Elden Ring no hit run? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's certainly next. Hey, I, don't get me wrong. I fucking love Elden Ring. And I'm very sad that it got interrupted by other things. But happens, you know. Oh, 
Wrong button. Oh, no. Mike! Mike! Oh, it worked out fine, actually. Oh, it did not work out fine. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, I can't go back to the real world? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, steady as she goes, Captain. Who's the one spitting at me? This guy. Oh, come on. Alright, we've got no heals left. No, oh, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. How do we get up there? Well, it looks like we dropped down onto it. weapon I'd be very happy if we could get a new weapon something with some real strength scaling to it would be very nice a trap. Those blow up. Tell me you're hiding something of value. The Holy Blood Ring. A simple blood slate metal band adorned with damaged crimson jewel increased resistance to bleed. Sure. Another one of these spiky head idiots. Wow, this is throwing things at me. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Okay, this area is officially horrible. Uh... What do we do here? That's a lot of enemies. Do we make a run for the ladder? Is that a ladder? Like half a ladder. Swinging wildly. Okay. We didn't seem to aggro, big boy. There's also an item below us somewhere. It's right below me here. Perd and Falchion. Still not better than what we have. Oh, he's there! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. No! How big is your hitbox, bro?
How big is that dude's hitbox? Get bodied? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. <sighs> Lords of the Fallen, all right. <sighs> all right. Well, we know where we're going, so. Jesus Christ. Gotta deal with fucking Tony again. <laughs> I'm holding back and right. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not having a good time. I'm not having a good time. Yeah, stop hitting yourself. Yeah, you're being funny. What, you're DPSing yourself now? Is that your game plan? That's your game plan, it's just to DPS yourself. I'm not going down like this. Do you understand? I'm going to take full control. Hi Mike, Umbrasu here. Do you like my big, spiky head? Yeah, you do. Well, we got the stagger. Okay, that, that my heavy attack did not stagger him at all. Oh, come on! Got him. Alright, those are weapon upgrades, but I don't really want to upgrade this crappy weapon. In fact, we've not even found a blacksmith yet. Let's get rid of these casters, because they're a nightmare. <laughs> We don't need to deal with those. Uh, we don't need to go across there either. We open the shortcut. Shortcut get. Now, I'll plus one, like, the next... When we get a sword... I mean, maybe with upgrades, the scaling on this sword improves, but... swing at me, you wouldn't. Oh, I didn't fall down. Oh, fall off. They do so much damage. I wonder if I could just, like, kick... I wonder if I could just kick Big Boy off the ledge, you know? Hello. Nice to see you. Oh, we were crushing an Eldrin. <laughs> Judging the range and stuff, though, is not quite done yet, obviously. Why are these already dead? <sighs> I hate waiting around. Wanna go, go. I wish we didn't have to do that roll at the end. Oh, 
Okay. Let's keep it steady. Uh, no, I do know about the soul flay. I'm just... I haven't seen a reason to use it yet. Maybe on the next one I'll try and use it. Do we have to be in the spirit realm to do it? I think we do. remember where we have to do it that way. Sometimes the third, sometimes not. Sometimes third, sometimes not. Now, at best that's a shortcut then. We must knock that ladder down. So where do we go from here? I assume I can't climb this. Uh, I throw something? Is there... Ah. Hello? Just holding my lantern up for a while. Okay, I thought I had to hold B to go into the spirit realm, but I think if you just hold the light lantern up, it uh, moves you regardless. Or if one of the enemies hits you within that realm. Something like that. Light Town. It's an early zone. Oh shit, needs to go Hop, skip, and a jump. I do feel a Soul Flayer's mechanic I'm supposed to be using quite a lot, and I'm not using it at all. Because they constantly like, hey, you can refresh it here. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I've not used it yet. I'm not sure the good opportunities to use it. Uh, when we get near, um, like, um, a bonfire, I'll mess around with it a bit more. So we can fail and try it again and again. This is clearly bait, right? That's the ladder. We can knock this ladder down to create a shortcut. Let's do that. Definitely bait. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, a sword. God, he's protected as well. Oh, come on. You jumped down?
You jumped down. I came up here to kill you so you'd stop shooting at me. Ah. I mean, it's not cheating. <laughs> We've got no health left. Wait, did Big Boy fall off? the guy another lamb bearer ah, you're just chilling here so it goes should you end up one of the few to earn a vestige I'll tend to it as I do for whatever it's worth and until I'm in the ground myself the hallowed sentinels and Rogar will both show you horror enough but nothing like what that lamp brings into view. And remember, you look into the shadows. Might be the shadows look back. Mind yourself, Lambera. Whether you took up that light willingly or not, you're on a treacherous path. Forever's never as long as you think. Mind yourself, you're on a treacherous Okay. The map of Pilgrim's Perch Descent. You need the key to open this. Uh, 10,000 uh, souls, wasn't it? Okay, let's uh, do an upgrade. More DPS, always. Let's rest and let's try this. Um, that should respawn uh, Man with Spiky Hat. Yes. All right, let's try this. So can I do this without going into the other realm? Right, I hold right trigger on him, right? I do. It just gives me some temporary DPS on him, right? Is that it? No, I haven't checked these, so I'll check it a second. I think it just stun. It's like a stun effect. Uh, what was it called? The Thorned Crimson Rectosword. C scaling. Uh, physical is. Attack power 138. Physical 121 plus 17. Requires strength 19. Uh, it does bleed damage, though. I think it's got a chance to for a bleed proc. Maybe. Ooh. Down or left? Let's go left. We're next to a bonfire thing anyway. It doesn't matter. Maybe it goes through bleed vulnerability. You sent me FIFA Oto and I'm going to slap you IRL. I swear to God. Yeah. 
You can push their souls with left stick as you flay them, and the body moves towards their soul afterwards. Oh, so you can reposition enemies with it. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I've only seen like one tiny bleed proc once from a 100% 100 blessed weapon. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna continue this way. The weapon art thing confuses me a bit. So you... oh. Oh. Yeah, hold on a sec, dude. I want to test something. Um, you hold left bumper and then R1 to do... But that looks the same as the normal. Is that correct? For anybody who's played a bit more than I have? To do, like, the weapon art? Yeah, that's the same. Sorry. You hit left uh, left bumper and right trigger at the same time. Ah! Okay. Okay. Cool. I wonder if that enhances the bleed damage. Now, let's try it on Big Boy. See how much damage it does, eh? Bait out a heavy head attack. Oh, not that one. Do the other one. It's too slow. <laughs> it's well too slow against this guy. So I've got a different attack pattern. When it hits, it hits. Of that, there's no doubt. When you can hit it, it hits. Not the best enemy to do it on, but when it when it lands, it lands nicely. I don't care about dying here. We've just had a thingy. Golf. Mm, uh, vestige. Let's let's use, let's do this for exploration. Oh, I think this means I could put a, uh, I could put a, a vestige here, right? If I had enough thingies. Okay. Uh, let's head up to the, um, let's go down the lift, see where that takes us. Uh, souls are called Vigor in this one, I believe. I think bigger. Uh, um. Knew it. <laughs> Just be there for me, okay? This is not where I thought we were going. Uh, wasn't there a lamp over here? I think there was. Where am I? I'm 99% sure when we came out of here a minute ago. 
there was the vestige because we could have gone down the the lift okay so is that a whole new area that's opened up okay I think that's a new area that you can't see unless you're in the spirit realm I'm going to check it now I don't think I took a wrong turn. So we came down this tunnel. Yeah, look, it's all water here in this version. Oh my god, how many hidden areas has this game got? Let's go down the lift. No water in hell noted. That's not true. I put some water in hell. Let's go down the lift. We cannot go down the lift. All right. Never mind. We will not go down the lift. Let's go to the Umbro and see what's down here. Try not to blow ourselves up, eh? Let's do our best. Yeah, the transition is very smooth. It, what was that game we played where you had to move between, like, uh, the hell world and the normal world? Like, seamlessly for puzzle solving. Do you remember it? It, like, went all, um, like, orange effect. Do you remember that one? Hello, new enemy. Do you spit? Do you do something? Medium, I think that's right. Yeah, medium. Games have got really good at doing world transition like that. Well, you've got health. Got an AoE. Here so. Oh, I went for the uh, mega attack to see if I could cleave everything. Right, we've pulled a lot of enemies here. Hold on. I was trying to get... I set up for like the melee attack to like cleave through all of them. You coming, fellas? All right, here we go. Ali! Rack them up, boys! Good job, Tony. Got a lucky shot in. Oh, we did pull a lot. Spitting at me, you jerk! Don't blow it up! Don't blow it up! Don't blow it up! Oh, there'll be none of that. No, thank you. The umbral eye of Rosamond. Okay, we can socket umbral eyes into things, into our lantern. That's where we dropped down, right? We came through there and up here. Okay. Many explosive walls. Something's going to push me back into here. Going to be bad. It's 
feels like a boss arena. The Antique Hallowed Helm. Checkers? Oh, she's heavy. Yeah, she's extra spicy. <laughs> we'll just wear the helm to completely conceal our uh, beautiful visage. We can. Oh, we need to buy more of the uh, vestige things. We can make vestiges everywhere. I feel like we've missed like 12 routes we could have gone. Oh, fun, man! Oh, Jesus Christ. Right. Short cut. Oh! Help! Help! Ah! Help! Okay, good job, good job, good job, good hustle. Good job, good job, good job, good hustle. Okay, so you do not kick that guy to break through his shield. Uh, if any of you are curious. <laughs> Now we know. Yeah, I tried to kick him to break through the shield. Uh, he just ignored me and bashed me in the face. It's a pretty big shield. Agreed. Agreed. Am I wrong? The uh, swing without lock-on feels like it's just... Uh, what's the word look for? Four directional? It's not where you want it to go. Is what I would say. It doesn't feel like it's where you want it to go. It's close, but it's not where you're pointing. I'm using uh, an Xbox One controller. I have to like readjust it with a swing. You see how I like went to the right and then swung it back around to go where we wanted it to go? Instead of like pushing in that direction. I think it might be because the animations have so much movement involved in them. Like when you. Oh, but, uh... Okay, so like up here I'm pushing up and right. You guys chill out for a second. I'm trying to test something. Yeah, I think it's at the point of initiation. Okay, that's fine. And it's kind of committed to where it's going. All right, can I do this thing on you? Did that not soul flay her? That's a one shot, okay. When I used the soul flay, I was trying to use the soul flay on her, but I didn't see like another body of hers come out of it. 
I did move her seemingly though. Like I pushed the stick to the left, it like slammed her into a wall. They are souls, so you can't soul flay in the traditional sense. Uh, they won't separate away because you're fighting them in their already humble form. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> like gingers. <laughs> Once you're in their world. Alright, we continue going to the Umbral area. There's, there's clearly something down here. We want to see what it is. Let's be a little bit more careful and maybe not as sciency on this one. Interesting. You can change lock on mid-target. And it'll change where he's swinging even in mid-animation. That's a lock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's really interesting. Hey, don't you mock my gingers. I've got three of them in my life. And they all mean business. So she's actively spawning these. Stay away from that AoE. Just spare me now, I guess. Went too early. Dead. Yeah, there's quite a delay when she rears back. Hey, base nerd, how you doing? I think we want to change weapon at some point. I still think we push this way rather than go to that outside area. I do like the idea that you can up the difficulty or they can make areas essentially harder. Like some areas you can die once and it's fine. You can carry on. But by using the umbrella, it's like, well, you can only die once in this area though. This is a little different. I haven't tried Dex yet. I, I traditionally go with a, a nice big juicy two-hander in uh, these kind of games. It is known. That does stop the thing from spawning, doesn't it, if we kill those things. Are hey, we using daggers or what? Dual reading the bleeding hollow swords, you get to start a game, it's not firing yet, okay. I really, really very much enjoyed the first boss. I think the first boss was badass. Pike Peter. Peter. Kinda wanted to come round here. She's, she's not stuck, is she? She's stuck. Oh, 
Don't blow up the wall. I think she's stuck. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pump you today. Yeah. Emma's, uh, Emma's not coping well with it at all. Which is understandable. She stayed away last night and she's like, it always gave me some assurance. Even though I know you're safe, but like that Ben was there whenever they stayed away as a family. Animation lock. Fuck off. Hey. Alright, see you later. Yeah, it was it was bad. bad. It's not surprising, but still not not nice. The kids keep having uh, these weird moments where some habitual moment isn't happening for them anymore with the uh, without Ben, and they get really upset. Uh, where did we go last time? All right, we have pathways here. Did we go? We did not go in here. Bleed resistance bomb. Okay. That's now 14 years, about a month ago. Right, they are. It's, it's insane. It's insane. I see some people like, I don't get it because they've never had dogs. Like, <laughs> I don't get this reaction to dogs dying. Like, you never will until you have one, certainly for a long time. What killed us in here? I can't remember. Oh, of course. Oh. Yeah, I went to kill this guy and it knocks us off the edge. Mechanism seems to be stuck. So I guess that's for what after we kill the boss. Is there any way of making this area easier? Oh fucking hell man. Give me a hot second to have a look what's going on, alright? Okay, so what they've done is they give us a lot of places to hide. Alright, let's get down here and just see how it goes, eh? I think using the bridge is a good idea. We can try and bait a couple of these dudes off the edges. Charge me before this guy gets here. Good. Try to stay on this edge because there's two of those things. Oh, the fuck? Are you for real? How far is your lunge, bro? Fucking snaps across the room, or what? Okay, this guy has zero chill. Nothing staggers him. Try to kick you off the edge. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Get the swing. You're a pussy. 
Uh, smite salts, bleed cure. Bleed salts and smite cure. Okay, so I guess that clears all holy damage and any bleeds that are on us. Yeah, we're a little slow on the swing. Uh, we knocked down a ladder. Oh, we got the head cage. Am I in heavy or not? I can't tell. Increase your radiance case further as a heavy and cumbersome head cage. All right, now we're looking good. If we're not looking good, we're not feeling good. So, what are we doing? <laughs> this is my question. Right, you charge over here, this direction. Go on. Look, I'm friends, friend dude. I have same fashion sense. Well, I guess if we're going back, I see the ladder over there. Come closer. One swing would be nice. Uh, I need to just climb this ladder. We go. And then we dealt with all the dangers. Or oh, the bit the major dangers anyway. Nope. One boy left. Let's see if we can cheese him. Come this way. Hey, 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 I'm over here. Wouldn't you like to charge me? Go on. Solid job. Ten out of ten. You can come back tomorrow. Okay, why did we do all this? Is the next question. We should probably up our HP if we're going to run around with, like, no shoes on and a steel head cage. <laughs> it might be worth upping our HP. Our damage is clearly fine. But we, uh, we clearly could do with, uh, mayhaps just a smidge of elf. Smidgey smidge. We got the Hallowed Sentinel Scripture. Okay. Why? Does that help us do something? A tome extolling the divinity, virtues, and glorious history of the cleric. Alright. Sure. Uh, what does that mean? Let me right bumper that. Or right trigger it. Can't lock onto it. Do I need to be in the spirit realm, maybe? Let's check this way first. Right, that's the shortcut up to this ledge. Uh, and then we can... So I think we could shortcut up to here and head up there. Alright, let's go into the umbral. See if that thing turns into anything. Oh, it's a memory. Softly across the south. Deep blue sky. 
this song so we used oh, to Oh, we're supposed to go over there. I think oh, that was handed I mine. see. Also falling. Yeah. I'm gone. Mother. Father. I'm so sorry. Yeah, lots of kicking down planks and extra ladders and things so far to create pathways. Uh, we've got to deal with a uh, birdie lady. Which might be problematic on a small platform. I suspect we're going to die here. Unless, I wonder if I can do that soul grip on her. Soul grip thing. No. Uh, and like throw her off her edge or something? Okay. Well, we can't really go back either. Jesus Christ, dude. Definitely worth it, right, fellas? Oh, go on, get off. The relic of perpetuation. a bit like them all. So this was just for extra loot. This is not the progress path. Maybe this whole area was just for extra loot and a bit of lore stuff. Maybe our job right now is to actually head back. There is another pathway to go. Well, we've got 8,000 uh, bigger. We should probably spend it. There's another ladder that way we can go to. Mm, I don't want a clue yet. We've got a lot more places to check, I think. All right, let's get a bit of HP. And more DPS. Okay, uh, this still doesn't work. So obviously at some point we need to get this thing working. So it's... Mm, let's go circle back round, right? We went through the umbral to get to this. I'm still learning in the learning phase. There's obviously...
It's Souls-like, but it's not Souls. I'm gonna die here. Okay? This, this must went badly. This was reckless and poor. Uh, so I'm learning. So we could definitely, at some point, go... We could go further up. So I wonder if that route we went that way will lead us there. Can I just skim this? I don't care if we die. We just spent our souls. It doesn't matter. Alright, so if I go up here, which will lead to where all the enemies are, can we go back across, like maybe through the un umbral some way? I guess... Oh, we can't go over there. We want to go up there. Alright, there is a ladder. Oh. Like, through here. Pride bound. There's an umbral thing here. No. No, there's not. There is another lever, though, but this one's also broken. Alright, we've been over there. There's no way up there, is there? Hmm. Uh, I checked the other realm. Let's just move to the other realm. Like I say, it doesn't matter if we die right now. That's to move back. No way to go there, and we checked the other side. What? Alright, so is there something back here? Alright, we got to this place where the guy was chilling. We looked through here, which just leads us back to the styre. That's a loop around. Uh, I'll move camera in a sec. And this is how we got here through here. So there's not another route through here. We have got a red thing to spawn a big enemy, I think that's what that's for. Let's have a look, see where it spawns. This is a lot of boys. Right. Uh, how did I do this yesterday? I can't lock onto it. Even though it's got a circle thing. There we go. Now we follow the pretty butterflies. Last time to... Oh. oh, is this in case we came at this from the other side? It was introducing us to a new enemy, uh, but we came at it from the other side. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is not the pathway to take them. So where should we go? Um, we can't go back up, back out that way, actually, can we? We dropped into a hole. Um, The only other place I can think of we can go is um, oh. 
can't roll that. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Oh. Uh, hello. Okay. Uh, is actually back out here. Unless our boy's got something else to say. Now nah, we got the scriptures. Mind yourself, Lambera. You're on a treacherous path. No. And we need the pilgrim's key for that. Okay. Uh, let's just check back this way. Zero bonus down. Good job, Mike. Oh, I was locked onto a target outside the screen. Good. Can I parry this? Ah! Oh, it was too strong. You can't. I want to do a full parry visceral on this guy. I'm nearly there. Nope. <laughs> I don't get why they put this NPC right next to this enemy. It's so weird. It's just like chilling. I lamp better. There's a strange time to be alive. <laughs> Yeah, doing the parry game with this guy is risky, but kind of fun. Do it again. Fuck. So fast. Bad timing. Nope. Oh, I thought he comes with the left hand. Now oh, the part you'll know the perfect parry when it goes purple. It does like a purple thing. You got this, pal, I believe. Come on, pal. To be fair, it's not easy to see in that. Oh, it won't let you use the uh, lantern if there's an enemy there. If I move here, can you get out? That gets him out. I dragged him out with the soul thing. Oh shit. That has a strangely large hitbox on it. Okay, um, let's see what's outside. We have to go up somehow, some way. How the fuck did you not lock onto that? Hi. Uh. Okay, doesn't look like we can go that way. 
We came from there, didn't we? Oh, did we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we came from that big hand to here. So where the hell do we go? Hmm. Where the hell do we go? Yeah, we came from over there. We got on that hand. And then we ran over this plank to get... Maybe we've not been here. Have I not been there? Oh, I have. Yeah, we ran and jump, jumped over this. Yeah, yeah. Sniper! We've missed the pathway. But where have we missed it? There must be some way of activating the lever, right? To go down this lift. How deep is this? We can't do some shenanigans, right? Uh, she's deep. Uh, yeah, let's check the map. Good call. Oh, do we have to... Oh, there's a cave near the bell. Oh, I see. There's a cave near the bell. Uh, does anybody remember where that was? It looks like it's low down. Near a big ladder. Okay. Don't go that way. Instead, go through... There's a lot of bells around. Uh, let's see if it's up this way. run in here. Uh, there's a giant X over... Exactly, I noticed that where that fallen bell is. It's like, do not go here. Bad. Bad juju awaits here. Alright, let's take our time a little bit and see if we can see where this place is. sake, dude. Give me a lemon. It's a lot of forward, uh, forward movement when you swing to account for it. I obviously did not. Quite a lunge. Uh, we are looking for a big dangly bell. Do we see a big dangly bell? Let's go up the ladder. Hey, Tom, have you tried Lies of P as well? This one's pretty solid. If you're looking for, like, uh, certainly it's got that Dark Souls 3 vibe to it. I'm still adjusting to a lot from the soul stuff. Not like you'll leave your money in London, is it, Tom? No. No, it's not. Yeah, both on the list. This, uh, I want to finish this. I want to see, uh, I want to see another boss today. Right, I don't think that dangly bell is out here, right? Anybody seeing a big dangly bell? I'm not. I wonder if it's back in the other area.
Or is it lower down? We can go lower down. It's a cave, right? It's... We can go lower down here. We dropped a few ways down. We finished scoping this area before we call it a hell's no. Right, eyes open. Bell gang. I can hear bells. Well, well, well. Would you lucky here? Okay, well, we found a place to go, even if we die. Jesus Christ, is this not what I lock onto this guy? Hey. Needs to be really have them in the front. Oh. Although it's your final death, that's the game is very forgiving actually. Like right, the fact that you can. Um, even though the, the umbral is you're definitely going to die, but at the same time, it, uh, it lets you regen your health. Are these all going to turn into moth ladies? Okay. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead! I cannot pull off this weapon art in a satisfying way. Let's hope we get a stagger up. Dead? No. That missed. Really. Fair enough. These are splooge monsters with purpose. The bowl of revelations and umbral scouring. Still no sign of a bell. Oh! Well! Would you looky here? Spots me a big bell. A big juicy bell. Little bows on top. Good afternoon, Pixie. Please stop with the splooge. My friend. Uh, I kind of want to make it here without dying now. Right, we're, we are in bell country. We've made it. There uh, should be a cave around here. Is this a shortcut plank? Perhaps. We have a shot. Whoa! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Mister... No.
Can you please? It's a souls like uh, playing on the idea of multiple worlds and realms right before your eyes. Is there. I expect there to be a spiky headed man down here. I can hear a jingle jangle. Alright, fellas. Just hanging out, huh? Alright, I'll kill you. <laughs> Go on, then. If I must. That's bait. That's pure bait. That guy's protected by a thing, so I have to go up and eradicate his butterfly. There's something horrible waiting for us. This is bait. This is super bait. This is more bait than a teenager's weekend. Got it. Oh, what a shocker. Two cage boys. Right, look, guys, appreciate all your work, but it's, I'm going to have to be really annoying in about in what's going to happen here. All right, fellas, you know the routine. Oh, shit, I am in trouble. Okay. One thing we do know is where to go. This is most important. This is most important. We spoke. No, if uh, there's two worlds, Tom. So I'm in the real world now, right? I can, by choice, move to the other world. Like this. Uh, in this world, if you die, you're dead. If you die in the real world, you get moved to this world. Uh, and so, and sometimes the game forces you to move between worlds to make it, like, harder and stuff like that. So, uh, I'll show you something that's really cool. Hold on. So. Uh, I'm still getting used to this mechanic, just to be clear. Right, so this area here, right? Kill this chud. Right, so here, right, for example, uh, looks like this, but uh, you can see that something's not right, and also water is an indication of the world. So if I was to move to the Umbral Realm now, it's actually a whole area to go and do. So you got to recognize the signs like water and stuff like that. Is, uh, is a whole different area to go, to go and do and explore. And There's a little bit of platforming as well. Uh, can be done in the other realm by grabbing onto, like, tortured souls. But the difference is, in this world... So the rules are, in the normal world, it's very much like a straight-up Souls-like. You know, you got usual usual things going on. But if you die, and you get moved to the Umbral Realm, uh, then in this world, if you die, you're totally dead. But, also, uh, let me get hit and I'll show you. Uh, you can regen your health, right? So if you watch, then this guy hits me. See that grey bit on the health bar? I can gain it back. So it's like, uh, it gives you a bit more forgiveness in this before you die. Bloodborne-esque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where certain attacks will give you your health back. Uh, and also, they uh, another thing they're doing is that if you find, um, like, an escape out of the Umbral Realm, um, then you essentially uh, get another go, like an extra life. Instead of there just being bonfires everywhere, if you can find a way of getting out of the Umbral Realm, uh, then there's one up here, right? So I'm in the Umbral Realm now. Are you also, there's more enemies in here. You can see these, like, grey bodies and stuff. There's more enemies in the Umbral Realm. But this skull here will take me out of the Umbral Realm. Uh, which means I can then afford to die and come back to the Umbral Realm again. 
So if I go here... I'm back in the normal world. Question though, does anybody remember how we got where we were going? It was down here somewhere. Uh, there are bonfires. Uh, they're called vestiges. There are, there are legitimately old school bonfires, but these are also like a backup. We went down here, and I think we went down here. And now we should have opened a shortcut this way, I think. Old? Old for Tony? Are you coming, Tony? You're welcome. Uh, true, yes. So resting at vestiges, aka bonfires, um, does not cause all the enemies to respawn unless you intentionally choose to rest. So you can activate the bonfire and you can level up without resetting all the enemies. If you, So if you're in good shape. Why can't I lock onto you? There's another guy hiding in here, right? Yeah. But it's got a lot going for it in terms of... Who is that? Oh, it's right up there. Whatever. Uh, let's kill these two on the way down. So, like we fought before, so when I just died, there was only a plank in the real world. If I'm in the Umbral, though, there's actually quite a lot of platform here to fight on. Um, I think I'm going to try and fight these straight up, though, in the real world. Let's see how it goes. Watch that third time. Head slam. I think I just saw the bleed proc. I think it happened. I think we just bleed procced him. And then of course we recollect all our souls. I think we just caused the bleed proc. I saw him like, uh, I saw something happen to him. Minor fire salts. I think this weapon just has a very, very low chance of causing a bleed proc. Right, there's nothing up here. I think we have to go to the umbral here. I think we have to. Oh, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Is there supposed to be a cave around here? Oh! Uh, how did I do this last time? Shit, this was at the start of the game to get rid of these things. Oh, there we go. That's what I was missing. We did have to go to the other one. Uh, 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 oh. Spawn everything.
It's being a little, uh... It's not being very mean to me. Uh... I feel like this is a little too nice, this game. The Book of Sin. Huh. Right, let's open the door then, right? Has a boss spawned up there? Or is it just letting me in? Oh, there's three of them. Oh, I see. So was there another one up here somewhere? Yeah, there is. Oh uh, yeah, there's an eyeball thing in my top right. Uh, the longer I stay in the umbral, I think it spawns more and more and more of these jackass enemies. I died two hits, but... Hello. Bonfire? That'll be a bonfire around here, right? There has to be. Oh, don't tell me to make my own. I can't. I'm too poor. Dude. I can't afford to make one. Oh, scammed. I could have put a bonfire there, but I can't because I haven't got a, an item. Maybe there won't be a boss down here and there'll be a nice shortcut. Maybe that's what's about to happen. see what's down here. I need a shortcut before I go down into the, the, the dog nightmare. Come on! Shortcut! Shortcut! Short... Ah! Oh! Power of the lever! Don't say you're broken. Success! Which one of the two lifts is this? Uh, I haven't seen this one before. You friend? Hello. So, you're starting to see. Their lives. All right. Church crusaders. This is not the way we should have gone. Corrupt hypocrites, butchers and madmen. A lot of them. Adia, the one true God stands on the verge. I feel like this is a boss. A big open area. I think we should go the other way. Yeah, I feel like we missed a shortcut. What do they do? Defy him. Fucking heretics. Fucking heretics. Names Damrose. 
and I'm wondering if a deer might have a purpose for you. A large march. It takes strength to survive in this world, and Mornstead's no different. A deer's got no I'm beautiful, Russ. I'm beautiful. Week, and neither should you. Cut them down and take what they've got for yourself. Oh, she sells the things. What do you sell? The Fist of Insight. The Raw Mangler Axe. Sea Scaling on Inf. What's Inf? Caster shit? Losers. Fire Grenades. A Deer's Rage. A Shout Saucer which allows you to summon the rage of a deer within yourself, increasing your physical damage. We need Inferno 22 for that. Okay. And Fingers. A charred finger, which if used before performing the Crimson Ritual, increases the reward received upon completion. What the hell is the Crimson Ritual? Inf Inf is Inferno. Okay, so she's like the Inferno person. Uh, I would like to sell you... Nothing. Increase maximum health? Wait a minute, is that a necklace? Hold on! More HP! More HP! More HP! Alright, pockets. Uh... Oh my god, is the Eye of the Maw coming for me? Is the Jailer coming for me? I'm gonna die before I find a decent shortcut. Uh, th yeah, this is like when they used to do... Do you remember when the Maw had a time limit? Remember that shit? No, they actually send the jailer. Hilarious. Why? Well. Good job, I guess. Right, let me have a pee. <laughs> let me have a pee and then we'll go kill whatever boss that is. Hey, boss time. Give me a juicer. Marge needs a juicer. Right, let's see if we can find a shortcut. Can we skip everything? Science. 
Excuse me. Going through. Don't mind me. Alright, Sony. Good to see you, pal. I'll be back later, dude. Don't worry. Okay, then we got a. Uh, we kicked down a shortcut this way. And then. We went down here. Oh, that's, I've got to open the door again. Oh, is it only there in the umbral? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. Hold, 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 hold. Okay, this is not good. Yeah, this is really bad now. Uh, I've created a situation. Kill these idiots. Right, all I have to do is avoid double Tonys. Ow, that went right in my ass. Why is the door still here? I opened the door, man. Okay, well, we know the strat now. We're fine. Get off the bridge. It's not a skill issue. Double Tony's waiting for me. That was a lot of souls we just lost. That kind of sucks. That's probably a couple of levels worth. Ah, well. Life will go on. Uh, did you steal Fio? Look, I'm not Shrek. I'm a beautiful shade of yellow, okay? You can't witness my glory. Okay, we're back. Right, we can't create a thing there. Let's take our time and find a shortcut. There's a lot of puppers down there. There's a lever next to me, actually. Wait, is this an elevator? Don't tell me it was right here. Oh, fuck you, game. <laughs> Does this take me back to the spawn point? Oh, it totally does! Oh, Jesus. Right, let's get back into the real world to fight the boss. <sighs> well, now we know. That's all that matters. Let's see what this boss is like.
I'm assuming it's a boss. Yeah, and then we'll go back and deal with the puppers. So that's actually a quick way to the boss, assuming it's a boss. I mean, look, there's a big circular area, it's a boss. Oh, that's a boss. Hello! Gentle Gavaris, mistress of... Oh, God! Okay. We want to get these cleavable, don't we? Yeah, we want these to be cleavable. Question is, does she just re... Does she just resummon the dogs again? Or do we circle around her and cleave the dogs? Maybe we let the dogs come to the boss, eh? Can everyone tell me what these things are for? I've noticed... All I've noticed with them is that they take you to a, an enemy like that. Like a new enemy introduction. They do anything else? Do you get like bonus drops or something? It's a revenge mechanic for other people dying. Gives you spendable currency in the foot. Right, I guess what we want to do is... Oh. Okay. Hold on. No! No! Is that a prevention to do exactly what I wanted to happen, which was to go on it and roll off? Maybe I can pull the lever. Oh, I genuinely asked that. I'm not, uh, this is not a, bl uh, a blind room. Stuff like that. Hi. Me again. Did you just immediately stop casting and get a swing in? Alright, can I send the lifts back up? I'm only waiting for it when we're farming or trying to kill the boss. Can you not? Why? <laughs> Why can't you send the lifts back up? It's an odd choice. Yeah, it's a really odd choice. No, I just died. They don't come back up when you die. No, the elevator doesn't reset. That's, what, that's exactly why I was sending it back up. What is going on down there? Yeah, see, I died in the... Oh, oh the next one. Let's see. Uh, well, on this side, let's take a try with, like, DPSing the boss and then getting the dogs to, like, come to us. I doubt she'll continue to shoot arrows while we're doing it, but we'll see. I'm hoarding my DPS upgrades again. But I don't see the point in using them until we feel we're going to kill. And I want a new weapon. Well, we kind of have a new weapon, but the bleed proc is kind of... Eh. 
All right, let's try and cleave on top of the boss. Hello. Okay, so she does continue to shoot at us. Oh no, no she doesn't. These dogs hit hard. Let me kill the dogs first. Oh, once she's picked a direction, though, she kind of uh, stays doing it for a while. Oh, as if. I disagree, game. Oh, she does spawn more puppers. All right. please. Yeah, I wish we'd found this when I at least had one heal left there. Maybe it's every like health percentage or something she gains new dogs. Oh, they get awfully stuck when we're uh Locked on. I'm gonna keep locked off for now, doing this. Doesn't appear to be spawning more puppers. Which is good. Dogs are close and we've got no stem. Money says we get hit when she's got like five health left. God, I'm spamming the roll there. Fuck me. One hit max, dude. We should kill the dogs. This is a stupid tactic. Yeah, we should kill the dogs. I kind of have to free kill them now. If we lock on and we can't see what she's doing. It's uh, been a little awkward for me to no lock on. Uh, what consumables do we have? We have all sorts of stuff. Uh, a bry stone heals over time. This is the case with mana stones. Certain parts of this world are richer and bright. So we've got some heals over time. We've got fire damage. Weapons. Uh, let's put these heals over time in. What else we got? Uh, add bleed status damage to a weapon. 
I think fire is probably a way to go. Brave lady, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Trying to have a conversation. Uh, we might not. Hand over the prison cell key. one gets the better of Gerlind finally. Make a slave. You don't count. Uh -huh. Doing an old growl a kindness. Aren't Who's this guy? Added to your species. <laughs> Doing an old. <laughs> right, but can you? Uh, I okay, okay, okay. Um, I bet we have to go to the town. Uh, fuck, what was the name of the town? We have a ton of stones for upgrading weapons. Was Walk to... Skyrest? Yeah, she must have moved in, right? We've let her out, so she's moved in. I bet the Inferno lady's moved in as well. Can anybody hear any clink clinks? Oh, I can. Oh, you've made yourself at home. Holy shit. Ah, Gerlinda found herself a place to do a little business. She hasn't seen any other Krowak since arriving in this shithole kingdom. But... Growak or human, sturdy armor and lethal weapons are a universal language. Speaking of business, Gelinde has something you might be able to help with. She's looking for some I items. think me and her could have a roll around in the hay. This bag of bones left in Mornstead a long time ago. Gelinde is undeserving of what she seeks, traveler. And self-centered besides, you would do well not to aid her in. You know full well the agony Galinda can inflict on you as long as you wear those manacles, Sparky. My name is not... Silence! Annoying as he is, Sparky does possess certain very rare knowledge, which he refuses to share. But he carves this knowledge in crystal. And now Gerlinda wants those crystal tablets to help in her wounds missing. So, bring okay. them to Gerlinda and she'll... As I would not do, I will not reveal the locations of the tablets to you, Traveler. Even upon pain of death. <sighs> okay, upgrade equipment. Uh... So we can plus one it? Wow, it's actually a huge upgrade. Uh, we need souls. Uh, hold on.
Okay, upgrade my sword. Insufficient souls. Okay, we're hard capped on money. We're poor again. Okay, so to upgrade this further, we need one something. Does it say what it is? I can see the item. It's one something. Uh, and it gains a rune slot as well. I don't see it telling me what the actual item is that I need. Can I mouse over it? It's that there, whatever that is. Yeah, I agree. I think the UI does need a bit of work. It should tell you so you know when it drops. It's like, oh, cool, I can go and upgrade my weapon, etc, etc. Alright, let's fight the boss. Ooh, uh, we could put an eye in our thingy, right? I picked up an eye. What does that do? Hand over the bowl of revelations. Ah, a key to shadowed halls of the past. Their delights now yours to indulge in, bearer of the lamp. What does that mean? <laughs> Upgrade the umbral lamp. We need an antediluvian chisel to do that. Socket and eye. Yeah. Empty. Uh, dodging at the right time applies wither to the attacking enemy. While in umbral, plus 15% sh withered health regain upon striking an enemy. So is that in? I didn't get a confirmation box. I assume that's in. Right. Offer remembrance. Oh, we can get something from the boss. We got Peter's armor. Blessed reflections. Summon radiant duplicates of Peter to attack enemies. Oh. For six five hours, I get a perfect scene in Persona Five. <laughs> I mean, why would I want to see it? <laughs> why would I? It's going to be bad, isn't it? It better not be that giant penis monster. Because if it is, I've already seen it. Many people were sending me the penis monster. I am looking forward to tomorrow. I think we made some headway. We've got a 31% corrupt world, but I think we can put a hard stop on it. Was it worth it, Raven? Was it worth it? The commitment and time it took to make dreams come true. Was it worth it? Oh, you can't see it. Oh, yeah. There it is. This. This is... Raven spent 65 hours to create this masterpiece. Yeah, absolutely magnificent, Raven. So worth it. Some dreams do come true. Alright, game plan. Kill the dogs. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, I don't think we can use lock-on unless we, like, cycle around the boss. We need to keep her in vision to know when her bow's coming. I swear to fucking God.
Aha! See? How do you like it, dipshit? Oh, oh you're all crowding the ladder. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, those hammer guys. Well, to be fair, our HP is actual trash, and our, we're not really wearing any proper armor, so. What else? I'm not going back. We'll take a try like this. I did not know those guys could shove me. Fair enough. A lot of falling. A lot of uh, a lot more platforming than I'm used to in these games in this. Usually a little bit, but there's a lot in this one. Hey, the destroyer has been beaten, and I'm very confident we could farm the shit out of the destroyer. As for Skeletron Prime, I've been thinking about it, and I think either we need some sort of AoE, or we ignore the hands. I don't know. Like, we can maneuver around him very effectively, but yeah, he's, a, he's a tough customer. Uh, I'm not going to use my... Uh, That's why it's awkward, man. Getting, keeping her in vision. I kind of have to go this way. Like, now I don't know where she is. Alright, so should she spawn the extra dog? Now or what? As if that missed! Almost staggerable. I'm gonna go for a heavy. Too far. Oh, we got another dog. Hmm. Looked like she'd stopped attacking. <laughs> oh, she keeps spawning dogs. She's just never endingly spawning puppers. I don't think we took her below a H HP threshold. I think she just continuously spawns dogs. Yeah, max is three and then she just regens them. You do get some time to DPS her. She's got ultra delayed attacks though. Like the pullback on her charge is really long. Yeah, our weapon is fucking kind of gangster right now. We're lacking the defensive department. Kind of classic, honestly. Okay, maybe go in not in the umbral this time. Are you for fucking real? You have never done that in like the five times I've been down here. And now it's all the goddamn time. How is large march? Large Marge is upset. What's the play here? Kill the dogs? Don't kill the dogs? I can't be fucked. I mean, I'd like to passively cleave them, but it's... With their delayed charge again. They do that pullback stuff. I think we do kill the dogs. Work on her a bit, kill the dogs again. Etc, etc.
Let's put on some fire weapon damage and see how uh, that help if that like is helpful. The last time we piss about with the dogs, the better. You fucker, it's so slow. God damn it, slow. What the fuck? I could visceral her. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so each boss kill gives me a free one of these. Which is nice. Yeah, our damage is very, very high right now, which is definitely helping us a lot. Yeah, our damage is super high. So let's make it higher. I don't know why I hate specking into HP. <laughs> I hate specking into HP. That's what I, <laughs> I can't stand specking into HP. We just need more damage, dude. More damage. We just kill everything. Uh, is this where we came in? It is, right? I don't need one. These animations are so long like this one you see the delay at the end and that's the only time you could get away i have found myself more than once spamming the roll button like please yep sorry first thing in the morning for sure poison oh we're going to blight town Why would you have me activate a bonfire at the boss when you had one round the corner? Three months of pure awesomeness. Keep it up, Mike, you beautiful man. Thank you. It's a good old poison swamp, is what this is. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've certainly not finished that other area, though. Oh, it's up, fella. Oh, it's the you thief. In you definitely won't we betray met, us. But, uh, I've perked up since then. Found myself a new purpose. Uh, at least something to keep me occupied while in Mornstead. I'm going to be a traveling merchant. Please, peruse my wares. Hopefully you'll see something of interest. Yeah, not patches, exactly. Some might use the word scavenger. True, but 
That sounds somewhat judgmental, don't you think? I'm just putting to use that which has been discarded. You could even say that there's a sort of nobility in it. Well, perhaps just a little. Hello again, friend. Uh, oh, I got, have I missed out on the key now then? Because he sold the key, didn't he? Evening. Have I sold the key to Pilgrim's Perch now? Unless he's still back in the other town. Like, he moves around to different locations. But I imagine he doesn't. Was it not him, Gimpy? I thought it was on the way out of the town he sold the thing. Not him. Okay. May your path be blessed. There's no way this doesn't break. I'm gonna throw a baby at me. Marlboro. Oh, it's a boss. Can I not dash through that now? I think I can go on the left side of it. <laughs> no, I'm out of that! You can see I'm not in that! What? You're a fucking filthy liar game. I dodged well clear of that enemy. Uh, I would guess this one is weak to fire though. Let's unequip the stuff that we don't want. Uh, how did I get to this boss? This way. That hit me! Lie! Shenanigans. Oh, come on. Oh, he's tracking is crazy. Uh, I think we go right side. I think that's the safer bet. Yeah, he tracks you all the way to the last second. We don't want him to do the rollback, so I think we want to keep in front of him and go to his right when he's trying to swing us. I thought because it locked onto his leg, we had to attack that element, but I don't think we do. I think we can attack the boss anyway. It's fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, I agree. It, it looks like it tracks you all the way up until the last second. Let's do a more right side approach. Ooh, I didn't see that coming. I really don't want to be in this wall, that's for sure. <laughs> that's fair. Oh, he's protected! Oh, cheeser. Nommy, nommy. Nom, nom, nom. All right, so fire very effective, though. That's good. Uh, I don't think we want to waste them yet until we see how we... Um, Find an opportunity to drain the boss. Fuck's sake. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. One of his head takes bonus damage. This is a little rough. Oh, it's so delayed. Fuck's sake. Where do we get chance to remove his protection? Probably after his double arm slam, we can probably do it. No, I think he's taking maybe dramatically reduced damage taken. If we get the drain off, he might be like pretty weak actually. We need to hold for like an hour before you roll away from his attack though. When he raises his arm, it's really, really slow. I think I got it. I can't see what's happening though. Let me get away. Although he doesn't appear to be taking more damage. Seems pretty pissed off though. God, sometimes you just get squish a wound. 
Oh, what? So fat. Oh, I used both my heels. I'm going to press it twice. Mistakes are made. Whoa! I've seen that before. Stuck on something. Fuck knows what's happening. <laughs> okay. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Not too bad. Well, see, I, I wonder if we can actually get parries on him and do some mad visceral on him, maybe. I'm not sure what the protection's doing. He doesn't take bonus damage. Or at least it doesn't look like it by removing his protection. I'm not super sure what that's doing. God, that's delayed. Oh no, don't be under the butt cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if that signifies a phase change, I do. Charge. Oh, I got that dodge. Did not. Read it out one extra attack there. I should have just waited. Especially with stamina being as low as it was. My stamina is so slow. I 
him before he can't die unless I drain him. What? <laughs> I win! <laughs> I mean, I claim victory. Victory is assuredly mine. Yeah, the poison got me in the end. Oh, I got to keep my uh, souls as well. Interesting. I have no idea what the protection was. I didn't drain it. Uh, I was, I was expecting him to like not die. I kind of want to go back to... The bonfire. Yeah. Hey, Kerr. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you very, very much. Thanks, man. Yeah, let's save here. I want to go to the gym and do my run. Before it gets too late. It's already 7 o'clock. Or DPS. That's where we were, the sepulchre. Alright, let's stop there for today. Uh, HP, get HP. Well, if you have more damage, right? You can really mess the boss up. You can do it. Uh, more strum later. No, it's 7 o'clock. My family's back. Uh, so I'm going to spend some time with the fam. Well, it's been a lovely Sunday. And uh, we're back to obviously normal stream tomorrow. We're streaming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Not Friday, because it's FanFest, and I'm going to be seeing a bunch of you then. It's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. We are in FanFest week. It's going to be good. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Have a great evening.